Greetings and welcome back to Celebrate Every Day with Amazing K. I am Karen K. Rush. And I am Amazing K. And today is October 22nd, 2024, and it is National Color Day. Yay! But you know what you got to do first? Go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you have not subscribed to this channel, go right ahead and do that immediately. And hit that bell because that will let you know when the next episodes of Celebrate Every Day with Amazing K are about to be aired. And you're not going to want to miss that. Don't forget, the contest is still going on. You can win a two-night, three-day complimentary stay at a hotel of your choice by getting three people to subscribe to this channel. They must say in the comments if they subscribe because of you. Do that and your name will go into the drawing to win a three-day, two-night complimentary stay. Compliments of Rush Travels and Adventures, who is the sponsor of Celebrate Every Day with Amazing K. All right, let's talk about color day. Yes, as you see, I got all my colors. Celebrate every day. We got the tie-dye. We got the earrings. We got the headband. Colors are everywhere. Colors are our world. Our we live in a colorful world. The people are colorful. The words are colorful. Everything is colorful. Me having an early childhood background, colors are everywhere. We have color markers. Do -do 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 -do. Got all my markers here. I just happen to be getting ready for a training. That's why all these things are here. We got colored pencils. Yes, yes, yes. And it's color day, too. So we got colored pencils. Oh, we have the color pins. And, of course, you have color crayons. You know what? I even got colorful Chanel stems. Color is everywhere. Color has to do with a lot of things. A lot of things color have um, meaning. Now, my pencils, this is the thing, National Coloring Day, National Coloring Book Day is August. We just had that back in August. But this coloring book, these are adult coloring books that everybody loves now. So I love this. This was given to me by my uh, oldest son and daughter in love. And I haven't did a lot of things here, but let me show you one thing that I did that I really enjoy. Okay, where is it? Oh, here's one. Look at this. They're Psalms from the Bible. And I can just color all the time with the little color pencils. And usually when I do this is when I go on cruises or on my trips and I don't have a lot of things to do because I just feel like sitting down coloring. Ooh, but it's good. It's good therapeutic. Therapy. Look at this one. Rest in the Lord. And with patiently, wait patiently for him. Psalm 37. Seven. So yeah, those are coloring books. Here's another one uh, with flowers. All of your flowers that you have that you can color. So this, this is good therapy, color. But now let's talk about, oh, I also have colored paints. You know, people like to paint with color. People have to mix colors. In our preschool classrooms, we only put down the three primary colors, and then we put white and black, because all of the primary colors, children learn how to mix them all just by having those. You don't need to purchase a whole lot of colors, because all the colors of the rainbow are in the three primary colors. Red, yellow, and blue. And you mix those all together, you can get all the other ones. You can get green, you can get pink, you can get purple, you get all the... And then you take the black and make it darker. You take the white to make it lighter. It is so much fun watching kids create with colors. So on National Colors Day, you might want to do that with your kids. Have some coloring problems or coloring situations going on. So you know what? We also want to talk about the colors that represent different things. Now, we talk about red represents... Uh, love, strength, yellow represents um, happiness, you know. Also, green is in the uh, good taste. Also, relaxation. Blue, serenity. That's like uh, relaxation. My, uh, uh, it's also high quality. Yes. And corporate. And I, I know that because in my business, we have Wall Street Blue Days where everybody has to wear blue because it's corporate. Also, pink sophistication. And I think that's why Barbie likes it because Barbie's sophisticated doll. <laughs> and this also means sincerity. Violet and purple means power, royalty, authority. That's actually my favorite color. Uh, brown. Is ruggedness, roughness, you know. Black 
fear. Uh, also, it means uh, uh, darkness, you know, that kind of stuff. And white means happiness and purity. So those are what the colors mean. But I know everybody has favorite colors for the different reasons. I want to know what your favorite color is and why it's your favorite color. It really has nothing to do with the meaning of it because everybody likes colors the way they like it and they look good on them on any kind of way. However you like the colors, maybe you like it because it looks good on you. Maybe because it brings out your eyes or brings out uh, some type of feature that you have. So tell us in the comments what's your favorite color and why it's your favorite color. Now in my business also, we have colors training. We look for colors and color and personalities of people. And you may find it yourself because there's a whole you know, tests you can do online for it and things like that. But usually in business, there's four types of people and they are bound by the four colors. And we try to, you know, you want to treat people how they want to be treated. You want to treat them how their color is. So you wouldn't do something different than what their personality is. So a red person is goal driven. Okay. That, those are usually the leaders or people that are aggressive and they, they are into competition and money driven, you know, also yellow is people that like to help people or they're looking for, you know, some vanilla bit uh, of this, you know, they like to give to charities or uh, they put other people first. Now greens, they're analytical. They're the one that want all the details about the business. Tell me this, tell me that. Research this, research that. Those are the ones say, oh, I need to research it before I, you know, come into business with you. And then there's the blue people. That's me. The people people. The people who like people. The people who are like the life of the party. You know, the social butterflies. You know, the, the ones that are, you know, talkative and, you know, not afraid to talk to anybody. You don't have anybody as strangers. Those are the four types. Red, yellow, green, or blue. Which one are you? Put that in the chat too. Put that in the comments. So, we want to know. All right? So, those are the day. It's color day. Go out, be colorful. Look at the beautiful flowers. Even the flowers. I know we talk about red roses is for love. Yellow roses are for friendship. You know, colors are all over the world, all over the place. And they have lots of different meanings and not lots of different things. But we want to know what it means to you. What's your favorite color? And what is your color type of personality? Okay. So be bold, be blessed, be you. When I say you, be your original uniqueness. Because you're all unique and you all have something to bring to the table, even today on National Color Day. Go ahead and put it all on social media. Do hashtag National Colors Day and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.